Hey guys, so today we are going to answer a subscriber question. And the question in question is, Frederick, what is the most important thing for a junior programmer to learn? So let's get into it. Well, this is a tricky one, as you can imagine. I mean, that's very subjective. What is the most important thing? Uh, there's tons of stuff that is, I would say, equally important. But if I have to pick one thing, I think I have a pretty good... I might have a good suggestion for you. So let's see what you think. So I will argue, I will make a statement to you today. And that statement is that regardless of talent, starting talent, a person who sticks with something will at some point achieve mastery if they continuously try to improve themselves within that field. Now what I mean by that isn't that you will be the best of the best in something. I'm saying that you will reach a master level skill level, a skill level, if you will, in whatever it is that you do. If you take, say, people who go to the gym and so forth, if you go to the gym consistently, you work out, you, you know, improve, try to improve when you feel that things are getting too easy, you will get into shape. It's just, it is a matter of time. You may not make it to the Olympics, because these people, I mean, if you want to go that far, you're going to have to push yourself to the absolute limit all the time. That's not, ne not necess necessary to be a person in shape, if you will. And I argue that the same thing is, is true for programmers. Guys, I know that there is a trend, and unfortunately this is something I think is very, that's very destructive. There's this prestige sometimes in the industry where people make you believe that you have to be like some super coder. This is not true, guys. Actually, it's, it's the furthest thing from the truth. Most programmers are normal people who, I mean, you don't have to be an Olympic athlete in coding terms just to get a job, to hold down a job. It's absolutely ludicrous but you do have to stick with it. So I will argue that talent and all of this stuff, it does matter to a point, but it's not, it's not as important as you may think. Now, what else I need to say about, uh, the other thing that I need to say about this is that you will also find that in the beginning, although, as I said, talent may not be the most important thing, you're going to find that there's a lot of frustration. And frustration, that this frustration that you're going to sense, this fr frustration that you're going to face, it's, it's going to come down to you not knowing enough. Because that's the thing that's, that's always going to be true in the beginning. Or regardless of what you do, you're, in the beginning of things, you don't know enough. And that's okay. I mean, that's, that's to be expected. So having a certain ability to deal with that frustration is also fairly important. But I will argue that it's not the most important thing. Because the amount of frustration that you can handle is very individual. And uh, that, that's a characteristic, if you will, of you as an individual. How far are you willing to go for something until you give up? But you can also think of it uh, in another fashion. And that fashion is that if you already knew the answer to the problem that you're having, you wouldn't feel the frustration in the begi to begin with. You would most likely or at the very least, if you, ca if you could figure out how to solve your problem in a very efficient manner, like quickly, you wouldn't have to feel all that much frustration until you're on the other side of things where you actually have your solution. And that's the thing you're going for, right? Now, so if we, ha like rather, if we have this idea then that the finding the solution to the problem will mitigate the frustration and will at some point turn you into a master programmer because that's what it's all about. Pro master programmers are simply people who have solved enough problems until they actually know how to solve these problems over and over. You know, they've already solved them so many times that they already know the answer before they start working or they are very good at figuring out how to solve a problem in a short amount of time, right? So what I will argue is the most important thing for a beginner programmer is to have good Googling skills. Now, I'm not saying that just searching on Google is the most important thing. Let me explain. What I'm saying is that your ability to find the answer to your problem, the problem that you are having right at then and there, is the most important thing. That's the most important thing I, uh, overall. I will argue for any, anyone who starts out being a programmer because the problems that you are going to solve in the beginning are going to be beyond you. You have no idea how to solve them. Therefore, you need to have a very efficient strategy for figuring out how to get an answer to your problem. Sometimes you have problems that aren't on the internet, so you have to figure out some other way of solving the problem. Sometimes you ha or you're really lucky and the problem is out there on the internet. It's just a matter of how good are you at expressing the question that you are uh, asking. How good are you at googling 
a solution so that you can progress to being in that state that you want to be, the solved state, the state where you have already figured out the problem and now learned from the process of having the problem, feeling the frustration of not knowing how to solve it and then solving the problem or having a solution to the problem and being able to see in hindsight, ah, okay, so that's how you solve that problem. That's the learning process. So that's what I will argue is the most important thing for a beginner to be good at. You need to be good, have, be good at figuring out how to find an answer to the problems that you are facing. So what I want you to take away from this is that the biggest and best investment that you can make is, I will say as a beginner, is to first and foremost make sure that you know you have the ability to like problem solve. In other words, you face a problem, you don't know how to solve it, go out on the internet, find threads, search through information, skim through uh, like comments and stuff like that until you find something that gives you an angle, a hook, something that gives you a lead on how to solve your problem. Because sometimes it's not a copy paste answer. Sometimes you kind of have to figure out, all right, this is sort of the thing that I'm looking for. Maybe if I tweak it a little bit, it's going to solve my problem. Other things that you can work on is the social skills as well, because if you, especially if you're a junior developer working at a, at a company, uh, these systems that you're going to work on, I mean, the, the answers to these sorts of questions that you may have at a big company, they may not actually be on the internet. It might be in the heads of your coworkers. So having a good dialogue with your coworkers and feeling, having the personal strength or security to go and talk to people and ask for help is also vital because that's also as i said that's also googling skills or pro uh, finding solutions to your problem skills and that's the thing that you should go for and it's i will argue one of if not the most important thing for a complete beginner to master have a great day